Philadelphia is in a state of crisis. 2021 saw a record number of homicides, with 2022 following a similar pattern. Shootings have been on the rise since last year. As of July 18, 2022, there have been 1,045 non-fatal and 272 fatal shooting victims. With increasing violence, some community members are calling for increased security measures, such as calling in the Pennsylvania National Guard to try to quell the gun violence in the city. POC, a partner with WHYY's News and Information Community Exchange, spoke with Philadelphians to hear their thoughts about bringing in the National Guard to prevent gun violence. With all the gun violence going on in the city of Philadelphia, many are suggesting that we actually call in the National Guard. If, if they come through, do you feel like you're going to be safe? I feel like the National Guard should have been here yesterday. I, I just, I think that it would be a great idea to have the National Guards come in and help the city so that they can get back to normalcy, if that's what they call it. The 4th of July, which was a beautiful show, which was spoiled. You can't take your children anywhere. We need help now. This needs to be handled by a local jurisdiction. If possible, the National Guard is trained in a whole different way to secure a, town, a secure a town. And I do not want that right now. They might lead to something more. Bringing in the National Guard around gun violence um, can create more disparities for communities of color um, than the support and assistance that um, people believe that it may um, it, it, it may bring in. The role of the National Guard is not to, to protect and serve in the same way that our police officers are or uh, even state troopers could be. City leaders such as Mayor Jim Kenney have not been as receptive to the solution. Pennsylvania Guard is not approved to patrol or make arrests. We use them in the time of civil unrest in order to guard property. Following the June 4th mass shooting on South Street, Kenney put the blame on guns, saying that with around 70 police officers in the area of the shooting, the city shouldn't be focused on policing, but rather the focus should be on getting guns off the street. You know, it's got to start somewhere. You know, I believe the, the citizens of Philadelphia need to come together as a whole and, and, and do something, not just talk about it. So, you know, as far as bringing National Guard in, I'm not above it. National Guard is usually called in to assist with state level emergencies such as natural disasters, but also during times of civil unrest such as the summer of 2020. Pennsylvania Governor Tom Wolf ordered the National Guard to Philadelphia in October of 2020 following a night of riots that occurred after the police murdered 27 year old Walter Wallace Jr. The National Guard cannot really investigate crime. They can't really lock people up. So do you really think that that will help? You know, what do you think they can do to actually come in? I mean, I believe the National Guard, when they come in, they're going to put the city on lockdown and, and, and it's going to be curfew. And then, you know, life as the citizens of Philadelphia know it now is going to get even worse. It's going to get tougher. I mean, their presence um, by itself speaks. They came and they were stationed in our area and they were like parked in the parking lot at Fox ShopRite. And just them being there brought a different atmosphere of we're not coming here with the foolishness. So citizens, we need to step up and take care of each other, regardless of age, regardless of anything like that. We gotta be there for each other. And at this time, more than anything. Many residents believe that their presence will make an immense difference in the city's gun violence crisis. Their appearance will stop a lot of things. Just knowing that somebody is there with authority a lot of times makes a person think twice. So yes, we need them. Other preventative measures that the city has employed are a new curfew where teens ages 14 to 17 must be home by 10 p.m. and kids 13 and younger must be home by 9.30 and a new 24-7 gun violence prevention hotline, which residents can call to talk to responders who have received 80 hours of training in trauma-informed care, cultural competency, and mental health first aid. You heard it, the people have spoken. I wanna hear what you think. Hit us up, WHYY News, or drop your comments below. I'm Zora Ball for WHYY.